Brave browser has introduced a RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation, as part of the browser. So this is the first time Brave has introduced in browser RAG powered by AI. And in this video, I'm going to show you what is that and also how to use that. So if you're not familiar, Brave is a free browser that is like a privacy centric browser. They default block ads. I think they have got some kind of token system, which I don't use, but I pretty much use Brave. I've been using Brave for so many years. We have previously covered the AI within Brave, which is called Leo. But the latest, very latest feature is that, that Leo can do RAG, Ritual Augmented Generation. See, if you're not familiar with RAG, RAG is nothing but, if you ask a question to an LLM, the LLM would give you an answer based on the knowledge of the LLM. But what if you want to ask a question that is beyond the knowledge of the LLM? Maybe that is latest, maybe that is a new document. How will you do that? And that is exactly where Ritual Augmented Generation comes into picture. What Brave is going to do is, Brave is going to take all the content of your current tab and then feed it into the LLM so you can ask a question. So first thing you have to do is, you have to go to Brave and then you have to update Brave. So in this case, I'm using Brave version 1.63.162. So this is the version that you should ideally run at least minimum for this feature to work. The second thing is you have to go to Leo. Once you do that, go to the settings and go to Leo. And inside that, make sure that you have got a show Leo icon in the sidebar. Then the next thing is you can select the model that you want. In this case, it shows me three models, Mixtral, Claude Instant, Llama 2, 13 billion. But for a lot of others, it did not show Mixtral, it showed only Llama 2. So depending upon what it shows, select the right model. After you have selected the right model, this can work in four different places. PDF, Google Spreadsheet, Google Doc, YouTube Video. So I'm going to show you one by one everything. First thing, let me show you the Google Doc. So this is how it looks. So you can just ask, summarize this document. It would quickly summarize the document. This is quite a long document. Just make sure that in your mind, make sure that e even with RAG, it is bound by the context window that you have got. So even if you have got like a very long document, it's not like it's going to understand all the documents. So it 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 is not like 100% appropriate in how it would handle a PDF and all these things. But most of the times in my testing, it has worked pretty fine. So I've said summarize the document and uh, it is a document. I think it says how to do great work. I don't know how did I get this document. Maybe somebody's article, I guess. Okay, this is um, this is actually Paul Graham's article and it seems or Sam Altman's article, one of these, either Paul Graham, PG or Sam Altman, somebody from OIC. It says, okay, the text describes a guide for doing great work, which involves finding a field where you have natural aptitude and deep interest on offering. And it's a really proper, complete summary, I would say. So how, how did we get here? It's very simple. So when you open Brave browser and let's say you open a Google doc, this is what you would see. Then you have to go here. There could be different ways, but what I'm going to do is click the sidebar and click Leo. So click the sidebar and once you click, like it'll be something like this, click Leo, the, the small icon. And then you can start chatting with that. First time, very first time when you're going to chat, like for example, you can click that eraser button to remove the current conversation and restart the conversation. The first time you have to say page, use a page context for response. See, this is very important for you to understand this on off switch. Sometimes you could be dealing with some sensitive document and you don't want this to be sent to brave servers. See, even if this is an open model, this model is not running on your local machine. That's something you need to keep in mind. This is actually running on brave server. So ultimately you are sending data to brave server, whether you trust the company, whether you don't trust the company, that's a different topic altogether, but have this privacy mindset that this content is actually being sent to somebody else's server and that is going to be read. So if you are okay, then enable this. If you're not okay, disable this. Once you have enabled this, then it's going to give you a couple of suggestion starters. So the easiest one is like summarize this pap pap page or you can just say suggest questions. So it will understand this paper. It will understand this Google doc and then it will suggest you some questions. Um, in this case, it's it did not suggest questions. Oh, so it was giving me questions that I can ask. So I'm going to, um, so it's giving you suggestions based on the paper, the, the question document that you have got. So I can just ask, give me three questions 
based on this document. I think it will give me the same questions, I guess. Okay. What are the three qualities that make work you choose suitable for great work? Why is it important to work on your own projects? How can working on multiple things and figuring out what to work on the on be related something? So this is Google Doc. Let's go to the Google Sheet. So with Google Sheet, uh, my experience is not like top notch. So this is the sheet that I came across on internet that has got startups uh, in India that has got the funding. So the first question that I'm asking is, okay, give me the company that has got most funding. So first thing it's giving me a wrong answer. It says GAN.AI has got the la last most funding, which is Dash in this case, but it says it's 1.1 million. Even then 1.1 million is not the largest, like 4.2 million is the largest. So for Google Sheet, I don't think like it's good uh, because as far as I know, most of the LLMs are pretty terrible with tabular data. So it seems it is also bad. But for my second question that I said, okay, give me the company that has a grant. So it went and then figured out the company that has a grant, which is what one EA, which is in this case, very specific and particularly correct because there is only one company that has the grant. So let me ask one more question. Maybe I can ask, give me the companies with series E funding, E, e funding. And let's see if it can give me the companies with series E funding. So you can see that, uh, Okay, it gave me Finbox and more Engage. Okay, more Engage is right, but Finbox is wrong. It is eightfold. Where is Finbox? Why did it even come up with Finbox? Let me go here. Finbox. Okay. Finbox. Doesn't seem like there is something called Finbox. Okay, Finbox is there and it is CDC. So you can see that it's not 100% perfect for Google Sheet, but it works. I wouldn't definitely trust this for Google Sheet. It seems like it's a it is hallucinating a lot, like or the structure of the format is not good. So uh, I, I kind of don't use it. For me personally, the biggest use case for any of this kind of rag within browser or rag local machine is summary. It might, <laughs> it might look like a very simple task, but I try to understand a lot of papers with this. Let me show you what I do. So I can go click Leo and then say summarize this page. Sometimes it might say that, you know, your context window or uh, the number of tokens that you have got exceeds your context window or some error message like this. But once you ask it to summarize, I think it does a pretty decent job in explaining what the paper is somehow some, for some reason it is not working now. Uh, one, that is one thing. The second thing that I use this, at least when I cover paper is that I try to understand how to explain something in a simple language. So a lot of times you would see like the words that people use or words that the creators of this paper would have used something like very uh, strong, very hard to understand uh, for like everybody. But this usually LLM helps me do that. So for example, I can just say, explain this like I'm a high school student. That's it. Send this message. It says the page is too long for Leo. Some context could be missing from the conversation. Okay, that's fine. This web page is about artificial intelligence to help agriculture industry. Okay. That's not 100% correct, but it says, okay, cool. Um, the authors propose a process using both methods. What are the both methods, a rag and fine tuning and using these models. Okay, cool. Overall, the author's aim is to create helpful industry specific AI assistant starting with agriculture. Okay. So it does a decent job. So answers are improving by 6%. So we have got six PP here. So it does a de decent job of explaining the paper. So this is one very important thing that I use with PDF and RAG, but there are other things that you can do, like ask question and answering. Like for example, I can, uh, I can go and ask like this. So I can say um, increases accuracy by, okay, what, what is the, what is the fine tuning accuracy improvement? So if it is in the, first half of the document where you know you don't exceed the context so it should technically work fine the web page above mentions over six percentage point when using fine tuning in the context of their agriculture so let's see the six percent we see an increase of six percent when fine tuning okay cool so it does a pretty and this is cumulative with rag so it does a pretty good job of explaining what is the document summarizing the document giving us important tidbits and also you can for ask follow up questions it does a pretty good job are any AI tools that you like to use every day in your life, then let me know in the comment section. See you in another video. Happy prompting.